Hi there, folks. Um, so each week, to help with the historical analyses that you'll have due the following Tuesday, and even more importantly, to help you hone and master the skills that are going to go along with reading primary sources and using them to answer questions, I'm going to include a tutorial like this that's in the form of a Google Slides, very similar to the presentations that we're using in this class. What that means is that each week we'll take a look at some of the documents that are assigned for any given Friday. We probably won't be exclusive and cover all of them, um, except for a couple of occasions. Uh, and we won't cover the documents in their entirety. Instead, the goal of these tutorials is to help you think about how to read these sources and what to pull out of them. This is really important because we're reading stuff that was written thousands and thousands of years ago and was often oral tradition, something that was passed on from person to person through speaking, well before it was written down. These aren't what you think of as history sources. More often than not, these are religious texts, they're literature, they're legal documents. And so what we need to do as historians in this class is spend some time thinking about how can we pull useful information out of this. And let me go ahead and warn you, they're going to be tough. They're old. They're written by people who have a totally different view of the world than we have today. That means that a lot of the times I'm going to assign you kind of short chunks that we really want to probe into and we want to think about, okay, how can this tell us what these people valued, what their life was like? Once we look at several of these across a variety of weeks, we can step back and say, okay, it seems like a lot of these civilizations ask the same type of questions. Questions like, what is the relationship between humans and the afterlife or gods? What type of rules should guide how a society behaves? How should society be organized? Those types of things seem to be fundamental to lots of ancient civilizations. And so as we go through week by week, we'll see that common themes develop, different civilizations handle them different ways, and once we're done with this class, we might be able to step back and say, okay, what did people as a whole think was important for society and what were the different ways that they attacked them? And indeed, we've got a final course paper that we'll be doing the last week of class that's going to ask you to choose a couple of civilizations we've studied and compare them. So with that said, let's take a look at the Epic of Gilgamesh. Let's work through it a little bit. Um, then let's move on to Hammurabi's Lockout. And as we do this, Let's think about how we want to read sources.